Hello, welcome to this presentation for the Stanford University Libraries LD4P project about the Cedar Workbench. I'm John Grabiel, and I've prepared these slides to show key capabilities using the Cedar system. Let's get started. I represent Cedar, a center funded by the National Institutes of Health for $13 million over four years to improve metadata creation, management, and publication. While initial funding is biomedical, CEDAR software is domain neutral by design, and we've been working with Stanford University Libraries' LD4P project to target a larger context. This is the CEDAR workbench, which helps easily build, modify, and extend semantically rich metadata templates that library catalogers can then fill out. Let's start with a quick look at what CEDAR produces. Filled out metadata, here representing a sound recording instance. Nancy Lorimer, a cataloger at Stanford, produced this metadata and the template which underlies it. Superficially, Cedar looks like a form entry tool, although it has some optimizations, with more coming. To this, Cedar adds semantic capabilities to describe fields and specify values. In this form, Nancy used the BibFrame ontology and the RDA cataloging standard with some ad hoc vocabularies for demonstration. This completed form can be accessed using this user interface or via a REST API as JSON-LD text, our internal format, or as RDF, the Resource Description Framework Language. So that's great. But what if you need a variant of this form, say to add a place of origin where the recording was created and change the contributor model? Let's do that. Returning to the Workbench desktop, first I control click on the original template and select the copy option, make the copy, select it, and open it for editing. We'll fix the name first. That's better. You can also create a custom description for each filled out form or template. To add a text field for the location where the recording was created, we click on the text icon and the new field is added to our template. I know the bib frame property I want has something to do with origin, so we enter that as a name for the field. Then we select the property entry icon. Cedar opens up a search interface for properties in Bioportal that match my concept. I can choose to see only those properties that are in BibFrame. Here's the one I want to pick based on the additional metadata Cedar offers. I choose the one I want by double clicking on it. We fixed the field title. Now let's select the possible values for the place of origin using the value tab. When I click on search, it starts by searching for that place of origin string. Here's a trick. I've entered a proper location name and Cedar found a gazetteer in Bioportal that contains that location. Looking at the ontology information, I see this ontology has 680,000 entries. That should be enough. We select the ontology tab to tell Cedar to use all the classes from that ontology. Now Cedar shows the value options we have selected. It only stores the information about the values. The actual values are obtained later when the user fills out the form. Let's make one more change. We want to replace this contributor entry with a contribution entry to specify both the actor and the role. We're going to search for Cedar elements that describe a contribution entry. We enter contribution into the search field and find someone has created and shared such an element. We select it, bring it into our template, and grab this entry to reorder it, moving it earlier in the template. Finally, we want to allow as many contributions as the user wants to enter. Selecting the multiple tab, 
we choose yes and set the maximum to unlimited and the minimum to none. Now we save our changes and return to the desktop view. We're notified the save succeeded. Let's see how it looks for a user to fill out this template. We scroll down to our additions with the new contribution and see we can enter multiple instances of it. This drop-down menu is populated from the controlled terms in a pre-configured BioPortal ontology. Finally, we have the location field with all those locations. Cedar gets them from BioPortal and doesn't try to display all of them at once, but lets you auto-complete based on your typing. When we save, our metadata is created. We can share this modified template with anyone who wants to use it, or with a particular group, like the Everybody group, which allows everyone in Cedar to see it, allowing collaborative creation of templates and metadata. I can share different privileges with different groups so trusted parties can edit my content while everyone else can only view it. By clicking on Shared with me at the upper left, we can see the artifacts shared with me on this staging platform. Thank you for watching this presentation. You can see more information about Cedar at the links below.